What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to check out Infinity Studio X Penguin Toys The Ring Wraith Life Size Bust. So this bad boy went up for pre-order uh, on a lot of retailers first before it went to Sideshow's website. But it's on Sideshow. Sideshow generally marks the price up $5 on everything for some reason. I guess they're just trying to make that extra little profit. Uh, but it's uh, $1,555. Everywhere else, it's basically $1,050. Uh, shipping in October to December. So shipping this year, apparently. I mean, it's not too hard of a production if you think about it. Uh, so there's things I really, really like about this. And there's things that are like... It's cool, but it's also... I don't know if you know what I mean. All right, I turned off the light so we could see this a little bit better. So here they're showing like three of them. So hypothetically, you could buy like nine of these, have the entire, uh, you know, nine men, uh, the nine Nazgul, which would be really cool looking, no doubt. But who's going to spend that much money? Uh, so here it is, though. So I love the idea of this, but the problem is the height of that sword makes this 58 inches tall. Now, I have 36 inch tall garage shelves in my basement and I have 56 inches height space above above that. So I couldn't display this on a typical garage shelf. I would have to do like a smaller garage shelf that's like 30 inches if I ever wanted to display something like this. It's just simply too tall. Uh, because of that, you know, like this would work great for people who have vaulted ceilings, which I have upstairs, but in a basement, I could not display this on a normal shelf. They made it too tall. So that's one problem. Obviously the sword is covering the face, but the face is just black, nothing to see. So I like the pose overall. I think it's really cool. Now the entire thing is basically just a black cloth with hands and a sword. And you see the Lord of the Rings at the very bottom for the base. So all you're really seeing is this, that sword, the hands, and a black cloth everywhere. So I know they put a lot of detail into the arms and into the base, but you're never going to see it if you display it as is. You know, like this arm looks really good. Very good detail. I love the like rust effect, the aging, it looks really good. The problem is, if you display it as it's supposed to be, you're never gonna see this. You know, I, I suppose if you just wanted to display the entire bust just having the black cloth folded up, then you'd be able to see that more detail, but this is how it's meant to be displayed, how they look in the show, in the movie. So you're not seeing any of that detail because it's just covered by a black cloth. All you're seeing is the hands and a sword. And if I got this, I really could even display the sword. The black cloth looks great. It's, you know, lots of weathering. It's, you know, like torn. And the base is really cool, but it's also, again, covered. So all you see is the Lord of the Rings. So I feel like you could almost just make this yourself for less than $100. Just get a Lord of the Rings plaque, some black cloth a hand and a sword and make this yourself. Just get like, you know, you, I feel like you could just make this for super cheap. The idea is super cool and I love the overall look. Like this base is amazing. And this is ideally how I'd like to display that base because that base is so detailed and cool. I love the fact it represents the scene from the Fellowship of the Rings when they stabbed Frodo. So that's the best way to display is not having the black cloth cover this. You need to see that base, it's so cool. And I also like seeing the hands, so I think the best way to display this is to have the black cloth not covering this, like have it in the back uh, so it can't cover this amazing base, and then also have it so it's not covering his arms. So you're going to definitely want to display it, that black cloth in the back, and that folded back. The problem is for me, I can't display this on a normal garage shelf, it just won't fit. So I like the idea of it. I think the overall look is amazing. Uh, I just like it. There's something about it I just like. Just a black cloth, uh, two hands and a sword and a logo. It, it's just super cool though. You know, so it's like, how often do you get something like this? It's a very unique looking, cool bust. 
And for uh, Infinity Studios product, it is, you know, more than half the price of what a typical silicone vest go for. So, and it's shipping quite soon, at least it says this. Uh, 600 edition size, $5.99 to be exact. Uh, now, they say that they're including swappable parts, but they don't show it. They say an extra hilt is included so the sword can be reassembled and enjoyed in a different way. Meaning, if you can't display the sword, he would just be holding a hilt with no sword, which would look funny, obviously. And you could just display the sword to, like, let's say, wall mount it on the wall behind him. Which is how I would have to do it if I wanted to get this and display this. I wish they'd include, like, a shorter sword. The problem is then it's inaccurate. So it's like... This is a difficult one because I wouldn't want to display it without the sword, but I can't display it with the sword. It also says, with custom parts, the diorama can be removed and displayed individually. I mean, how exactly does that work as well? They talk about things, but then they don't show it. Yeah, so look at this. 57.88 inches high, 28.35 width, and 25 deep. So this is a huge piece. Which is wild. They don't even have a size comparison next to a human. That's just shown how big this is. So, I mean, overall, I do like this a lot. It's just, they've made it very difficult to display. And a lot, and if you display it as they meant it, then it also covers a lot of the detail of the base and the arms. I'm really debating on getting this one. I mean, I would love to display this and Lurt's Bust with my Sauron in the middle. And frankly, my entire Prime 1 Lord of the Rings 1 4 scale line, all top shelf if possible. Uh, but I just can't find a way to do that without doing a garage shelf in the middle of the room with Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong. So, I haven't pre-ordered this. I'm debating it. I could get this if I did a mid-room garage shelf. You know, if I did a mid-room garage shelf and threw Godzilla vs. Kong on there, then hypothetically, I could display the Nazgul right there with Sauron and Lurtz. You know, have them displayed like that, and then Lord of the Rings underneath. And then Godzilla vs. Kong here, keep Reaper set there. Save that for, heck, a Lido bus if I wanted to. Or, hypothetically... Just a random thought in my mind. What if I displayed the Blade and Underworld all down low? All that would be Blade and Underworld. Fell Beast and Balrog in this top shelf. Do Lurtz bust there. Nazgul bust there. All one-fourth scales in the middle with Sauron in the middle. Imagine how cool that would look. A bust on each end and Sauron in the middle. I think that would be absolutely epic. I'd have to lower that garage shelf a few inches to be able to fit that sword. But I think that would be absolutely amazing. Now, Underworld down low, they actually do look pretty decent down low. Because the, the lichen is looking up in the way Marcus is. They actually would look pretty decent. They look better than Blade does down low, believe it or not. Technically, that could work. Of course, that would mean Godzilla vs. Kong would have to go a mid-room shelf. Or we'd have to find another place to put Godzilla vs. Kong. Which seems seemingly impossible. Unless you put Godzilla vs. Kong where Khaleesi's at. And found a different spot for Khaleesi and Witcher. Uh, you know, I you could put Witcher in the video game section if you foregoed some video game statues. Khaleesi would have to find a different spot, which would be difficult. Just, just some random thoughts in the mind, but I really do like this Nazgul bust. It's very simple, and there's some things that are, like, I would definitely have to display it where I could see the arms, and I could see that base. You know, I'd bring the black cloth back so I could see the base and the arms, and I definitely, it definitely looks better with the sword. It's just that height space is ridiculous. So I would, if I did get it, I'd have to display it like on that smaller garage shelf and lower it at least one tier or two tiers to be able to display the sword. So it just barely touches this, like barely is underneath the ceiling. And then of course, next to it, I would do the Nazgul one fourth, Morgul Lord, 
and then probably all the good guys, Legolas, Aragorn, Gimli, Frodo, Sauron, and then Lurtz, Berserker, Saruman, uh, my orcs, and the Lurtz bust. You know, all the orcs over here, the Nazgul here, the good guys, and Sauron. Then I'd have the ultimate Lord of the Rings wall, per se. I would love that. And then underneath, you'd have to do Fell Beast and Balrog. And probably just a one-fourth and under in that glass shelf. This is just some random ideas. I always come up with random ideas. It's best when you actually have the statues because then you can display them. You know, I, I've thought up the idea of putting Underworld down low, but uh, it, it's really difficult. I hate splitting Lord of the Rings as well, like having Sauron up top, not with the rest. Ideally, I like to have them all together. I also hate the idea of putting Underworld down low because it's one of my favorite statue lines in my entire collection. So, uh, it's a tough one. I don't want to do a mid-room garage shelf, but ideally Godzilla vs. Kong would, would go better in the mid-room shelf. So, I will definitely test it out though. Believe me, when I get the diorama, I'm going to build a garage shelf, put it here, see how I like it. See if it looks good, if it blocks too much, if it's worthy of going there. I'm definitely going to try a few things when I get it in hand, but I am just trying to think future-wise, you know, should I pre-order this Nazgul bust? I really like it, and I think it would go great in the collection. If I could have just that and Lurts as my two Lord of the Ring busts, then, you know, I have like the two main uh, villains outside of Sauron, you know, like Sauron's minions, Orc and the Nazgul. Those are like the two main ones. So I feel like it'd go so good in the collection. So I'm definitely considering it. I haven't pre-ordered just yet. I'm, I likely will pull the trigger. So there's a few options on where you can buy it. You can buy it on Sideshow. The advantage of Sideshow is you get great customer service. You'll likely get it possibly sooner. And the disadvantage is there's tax. Uh, you also get 5% rewards, which almost counters tax, not full leaks. Tax for me, 7%. Rewards is 5%. You can go through a retailer like Spec Fiction or, you know, there's a lot of them. Uh, the retailers generally, shipping costs might be slightly more expensive. The product price might be slightly cheaper. The reward system's not as good, but there's not going to be tax. And customer service cannot be rivaled by Sideshow. So I would probably order through Sideshow if I'm going to do it. Uh, so probably just do Sideshow. Even if, even if it costs slightly more, I just have that more or less. I know that I'll have better customer service, better return policy with Sideshow. And I'm willing to pay slightly extra to get that peace of mind, knowing that, you know, I could easily return it if there's damage and Sideshow would cover shipping and I'll get their great customer service. And I'll likely get it possibly slightly sooner. You know, they'll get priority over retail, like other retailers in general. So if you guys are looking to pick this up, please use the links below as it does help the channel. I'll leave a link uh, to purchase this. Uh, I'm highly considering it. I'm just thinking, uh, I think the price is overall pretty good uh, for what you get. Anyways, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.